Hello, I'm Michael. And I'm Jill. Of Michael and Jill's Travel Adventures. So, if you could have told me in October of 2019 that we wouldn't be getting to go on another cruise for two years, I thought you were crazy, but COVID hit in 2020. And so things have been a lot different, as you know. Um, we've all had to change the way we're doing things. And I'm fine with it as long as I get to get on another cruise ship if I were you. So one of the things on Carnival, and I think most of the other cruise lines are following the same directives too, is whether you're vaccinated or not vaccinated, you still have to wear masks in common areas. The only time you get to take them off is, I think, if you're in the hot tub, the pool, or if you're eating or drinking. So, being how we are, we found the cruise mask on um, Amazon. Um, about right after COVID really got serious, we bought them. Um, we actually didn't realize it'd be two years till we could wear them on an actual cruise, but we've worn them around different places. And these are the masks we picked. It's the Carnival Magic, and part of it that's so neat to us is that's the first cruise Michael and I took together. And Michael also found these at Home Depot. And you take them, and you put them in your mask like that, and it kind of holds your mask away from your face and kind of makes breathing a little easier. Um, Those are actually called cool turtles. Whether your political views on masks, whatever they may be, they're still required to get on the ship, so that's why we have them. Um, that's just how it is and how we... Um, we're going to follow the rules so we can get, get back on our cruise ship. Um, one of the things that's kind of aside from this is because of COVID, a lot of the crew members can't get off the ship except for, I believe, it's in Cozumel. And most of them aren't getting off in Cozumel because if they catch COVID, pretty much their livelihood's over with. And if you've met some of your crew, you know that a lot of them live off of the tips and they a lot of them live on very little money and send the rest home to their families. So we are actually making a care package for our room steward of snacks and toiletry items that they can't get unless they buy them on the ship, which is really expensive. So a lot of them are putting their lives in danger of being around us and catch, could catch COVID. So this is our way of giving back along with their tip money that we always give. Now over to you, Michael. The other thing that we need to talk about is the types of home tests that you can take that are required for uh, for Carnival. Well, those were vaccinated, <clears throat> I believe. Yes. You have, we did get vaccinated um, to go on the cruise, so this is what is allowed for cruising. This is the Binax Now COVID-19 AG card home test with telehealth. Um, it tells you specifically on there do not open until instructed to do so. You have to download an app on your phone so that they can uh, watch you take the test, make sure that it is you, in fact. You know, they'll get your ID and that kind of thing. Um, we have not actually done one of these yet, but uh, it's the same type test. Um, but you got to stick up your nose and then put that on a uh, little card and watch the the uh, little lines up here. I call it the pregnancy test for COVID. That's what I've been calling it. <laughs> that's that's kind of a good way to put it. Um, if you're not vaccinated, the testing rules are different. I believe it's 70, 72 hours prior to cruising, and ours is 48 hours. So Thursday, when we get home from work, we plan to take ours. We leave on a cruise on Saturday, October the 23rd. So we'll do it that uh, the night of the 21st. So basically, you just need to make sure you follow the protocols uh, that CDC guidelines have laid down for cruise ships. You still have to social distance anytime that you know they tell you to do so on, on the ship, either inside or outside, and wear your mask whenever, you know, wherever and whenever they tell you you're supposed to. We also have some coworkers that just got off a cruise, and they said that the staff carry are carrying little backpacks around with masks in them. So, if you do forget your mask in your room, they will hand you a mask. Um, what else? Do you have something else to say? Um, I do have one thing I want to add. 
the last two years, y'all know that everything's been different for everybody. And I ask you to be courteous to the staff because they're having to follow these rules. It's not about politics. It's about they have to follow the rules so we can cruise. And so the continued cruise, and we have to follow the rules. I know some of it's a pain in the butt, but we just have to do it and keep going. Well, I'm Michael. And I'm Jill. Thank you for watching Michael and Jill's COVID travel adventures. Thank you.